Okay. Looks like we're live. Uh, for anybody watching this, hello. I'm It's Blunty. Uh, and on these streams, I am uh, doing some energy drink reviews, like one Mr. Jeffrey Gersman, if you follow video games. Um, yeah, today, though, I'm excited because we have Monster Zero Ultra. This is the white can. It's like the this is the can. White top. If you know about low zero calorie energy, you probably know about the white monster. So today we're gonna rank it. I've got a list of energy drinks. And if I can pull it up properly, there we go. You'll see. Now uh, that we have a list. Right now this is our list. We can check out. Right now what we've gone through, we can go and highlight Rocket Pop here. All right, and now it's time for Monster Energy Zero Ultra. 140 milligrams of caffeine, a little less than the rest. Be cool to have a zero calorie, a zero caffeine version of this. Monster Unleaded they made, but not sugar free. But let's give this a shot. Okay, here we go. I've never spent the time to smell. I mean, I know what this tastes like, but. Getting some lemon lime citrus citrus vibes going on. I've never actually thought about what this tastes like. Interesting. It's almost, it's definitely like a citrus flavor, but it's really almost, maybe almost Mountain Dew. It's been a while since I've had a Mountain Dew, but I think we're getting pretty close to a Mountain Dew here. It's got a lot more body, a lot more deep flavor than it, like a Sprite. Or just something about these ultras. They just have like a it's a heavy flavor. Like it's present. It's very present. Some of the other things we've tried are present and they're horrible or they're not present. Like our notes for Mountain Dew Energy Pomegranate Blue Burst were blue bas raspberry, but missing something. You can see here, rainbow sherbet was Sprite and cotton candy. So we're sort of missing a like a deep flavor. And the Sprite's more of a like a lighter, brighter flavor. And then cotton candy was this overarching sweetness. We just, I don't know. Let's go to our list here. Let's pick a spot. Definitely way better than Tropical Vibe. Way better than this. Better than Rainbow Sherbert. Better than the peach? I think it is. This isn't going to be a surprise for most people, but going at the top. What are our notes on it? So citrus? Definitely got to go on the It's got to, we got to say citrus. Um, what else is here? It's like a lemon lime, um, more body than a Sprite. I'm going to say Mountain Dew adjacent.
It's Mountain Dew, but more tart. Let's say that. Sweet, but no cotton candy. And I'm going to note that because I, I think I'm seeing a trend. Which is that some of these are not flavored with a wreath of tall are tasting like cotton candy. Interestingly, Peachy Keen did not have erythritol in it, uh, but also did not taste like cotton candy. So it could just be a design that some of these guys are trying to do. Anyway, that is our new list. And the Monster Ultras are currently dominating. All right, that's enough of the energy drink segment. I think it's time to get fishing, and uh, I didn't plan ahead very well, so I gotta boot the game up. But that's okay. Window capture, we just wanna split. Oh no. Right, this is the Elgato, we don't want that. Oh. Oh, I see. All right, get a new stream going here. We got a, we're gonna try a game capture. I know how this goes, but it's not a specific window. RF4, okay. Fit the screen. All right, we've got bars, because I don't have this full screened. It's on my main monitor. Um, and that's where my taskbar is. So I need one of those fancy streamer overlays that, like, you know, has stuff, information down there, or up at the top, I guess. How are we going to do this? What, what's the... I could stretch it, but that's probably going to look weird, huh? All right, well, that's stretched. Let's see what it looks like. All right, we're going to take a local screenshot of this guy here. And I'll have that pulled up in case I need it. Um, is any of these about to expire? Not really. I'd love to get that wolf fish in a, a whiting. You know, we just mop these up. I mean, these would be great. I think I have two. Oh, I sold them, right, because I wasn't sure I was logging back in. So not a big deal. Let's get back out. On the sea. Currently at 17k. I don't know what I'm going to buy. Still don't know. I think we're going to do Venga as the stream title suggests. But it's hard not to want to go um, to the Goliath, right? I mean, if we're already grinding 32k. You know, what's another 20-30% of that to get the best reel in the game? But people are saying it wears too fast. That's the concern. And it, it is another 10, you know, what, 7k I guess? I think it's like 32, glass like 39. So 
I'm not sure. I guess we're going to go hit this 30 again. I'm. Let's try the 34. If the 34 is dead, we'll go to the 30. Helps if we go to aim the right way. It's a K, G, G, G. Got our map. I could be at Archie, but I've only got two overlords. So it becomes a hassle when you hook anything on the HSV. Because my third reel is an HSV. And I'm not making really much more money there because it's not popping. If 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 everybody shows up in the Discord um, or VK blows up and we see the Archie's going wild, then I will probably check out Archie. But for now, we're going to keep on keeping on. Now earlier I was fishing with double FOMO fours, a shrimp, and this lurker. And I put safe fillets on the lurker because the lurker was giving me some very interesting catches. Uh I mean like, you know, like uh random wolffish, random spiny dogfish, parabit, you know, stuff that basically made a lot of my silver. Because they're not cafes, but they are um just good silver on a baseline. But it's hard to know if that's the right move. Like because the only way I would really guarantee lurker bites is by taking all this stuff off. And then you have to ask yourself, would I rather not get bites? Where am I at right now? Okay, 34. Or like you know, like what's what would be the best here? So I don't know.
Another option we have is to just like put octaves or something on here. But we're going to get a way slower sync rate with some octaves. We're we'll getting this stuff on here. Fish four, lurker, shrimp, fish four. Running the gamut. Even people over here. Oh, there we go. Little something.
All right, what do we get? Faith? Force. One day we'll get a Faith trophy. It's all right, right? Especially if you keep getting like Pollock. What did the Pollock come on? Was the foam? Yeah. Faith probably too, right? Yep. Sorry's on the shrimp. I might get rid of the shrimp since there's not a sorry order. <laughs> and I think I got a wolffish earlier, either on the lurker or the foam. So removing the shrimp would help that too. See what we get here, yeah. And I got another mackerel. All right, let's pull this. Uh, do we do another black foam or do we do like a weird? Give a 10 out of 10, nine. That was a beat up. Let's just do this one. Okay. Let's try this. We'll put a yellow foam on. Oh, but it's got black beads on it, right? No, red beads on it. That's fine. I'm certainly curious. I'd love to know in the back end how much that actually matters. I'd love to find a cusk. I don't know what I need to put on here, like a tiny fish or something. When I started fishing here, you could mop up on cusk. We need to go down to the 41 with this foam set up. Not paying attention. There we go. Very quick. Sorry, what did I catch him on? Wow, okay. Did not know that was happening. Maybe I want to put a black one on. 